Nigerians enter the new year with hope of a peaceful and united Nigeria. Linus and Anne Ame bring forth the first baby of the year 2019 in the Federal Capital Territory. On special assignment, correspondent looks back on political developments in 2018. And Hamilton is here with attendant fire outbreaks. What are the safety measures? Good evening and thanks for joining us on Network News at 9, the first day of 2019. I am Jumwe Yusuf, reaching you live from Abuja. Mike Olele is in our network, Lagos Network Center. And Agatha Igwere Ojo is in our Benin Network Center. Happy New Year. Now, it has become a tradition for Nigerians to cross over to a new year at places of worship. 2019 is not different as many Christians went to church to give thanks to God Almighty for a new year. Lydia Odiji Ochi visited various churches in Abuja and now reports. The cold weather did not deter Christians from starting the year with thanksgiving. At Our Lady Queen of Nigeria Pro-Cathedral, Archbishop of Abuja, John Cardinal Onayekon, encouraged Nigerians to always coexist in peace, especially during the forthcoming general elections. We are now entering the new year, which has been calculated from that great events, the appointed time when we sent the Son of God, which was in 2000, and 19 years At the Methodist Cathedral of Unity, the mood was infectious as worshippers expressed gratitude to God in praise and worship. Okay. We should all be grateful to God, first of all, as Nigerians, for God's benevolent uh, showers of blessings has bestowed on us we thank him for that and after thanking god we should use some of the events that took place within the year 2018 to learn the lessons as how we are going to live our lives in the year 2019. prayers were offered for nigeria and nigerians at the redeemed christian church of god as the new year was received with excitement and thanksgiving Oh, there is a great hope for Nigeria, and I want to assure Nigerians from what I receive in my spirit that this year election will be the most peaceful one in this country. Nigerians were urged not to relent in prayers for a better Nigeria in the new year and beyond. In Abuja, Lydia Odije Ochi, NTA News. Meanwhile, the secretary to the government of the Federation, Boz Gida Mustafa, says he sees a united Nigeria where peace, unity, fairness and equity will be the order of the day. Boz Mustafa stated this at the crossover church service of the Family Worship Center in Abuja. Deborah Mika's report is hereby presented. The secretary to the government of the Federation, Boz Mustafa, said that Nigeria should work for the unity and progress of the nation, irrespective of their differences. In spite of the security challenges and other challenges that confronted this country, we've been able to overcome it by the purposeful leadership that has been given by President Muhammad Buhari. And I believe as we go into the year uh, 2019, preparatory to the general elections, we should be prayerful, we should be watchful, because there is a plan of God upon this nation. In an electrifying atmosphere, worshippers glorified God for the successful transition from the year 2018 to 2019, counting the ticks of the clock. Celebrating the grace of God, Pastor Sarah Omaku says, Nigerians must press on further until righteousness is established in the nation. The people who have not accepted Jesus Christ will continue in a life of sin, will not enter heaven. It is only for the pure people. See, this is the night where you save yourself. Similarly, worshippers at the redeemed Christian Church of God 
were in a joyful mood celebrating the grace of God for the year 2019. We should know that God has gone ahead of us for Nigeria into 2019. He will make every of our crooked past straight. Peace of God will reign in the election, the coming election in Nigeria. We should return to the love of God that will help us to keep the law of the land and keep the law of the nation and pray for the leaders of this nation. And for most Nigerians, the new year is one with high hopes and better opportunities for all and the nation at large. Kindi Olale compiled messages from some prominent Nigerians. The Christian Association of Nigeria says 2019 will be a year of peace, prosperity, rest of mind, and a year when the Almighty God will miraculously intervene in the affairs of the nation. Can President Reverend Dr. Samson Olashupo Ayokule says the year 2019 is a crucial year to all Nigerians because it is a year of general election. He urged all Nigerians to make sure that they abide in peace without being involved in violence throughout the year, especially before, during and after the election. Appealing to Nigerians to distance themselves from electoral manipulation in whatever form. In the same vein, the All Progressives Congress, APC, has felicitated with Nigerians in the new year. A statement by the National Publicity Secretary, Malam Lanri Issa Unilu, says Nigerians should reflect on the progress made in the last three and a half years as the nation moves towards a stable and prosperous future. Senate President Abubakar Bukala Saraki also congratulated Nigerians, asking them to remain hopeful and collectively work together to ensure a turnaround for the nation. In his message to Nigerians, Speaker House of Representatives Yakubo Dogara says 2019 presents another opportunity for Nigerians to take responsibility and rekindle the spirit of community. The Nigerian Labour Congress also assured Nigerians, particularly workers, that its resolve and commitment to noble goals and aspiration of justice, equity, decent wages, and accelerated national development remains unshakable. Kende Olaleye, NTA News. Still on events that heralded the new year, wife of the president Aisha Buhari has felicitated with the first baby of the year in the Fatah Capital Territory. A baby boy born to Mr. and Mrs. Linus Ame at the Yanya General Hospital, Abuja. Mitere Ikpen reports that Mrs. Aisha Buhari was represented by the senior special assistant to the, to the president administration, Dr. Hajosani, at the occasion. The first baby of the year in the FCT, who weighed three kilograms at birth, was the center of attention at the Yanya General Hospital, Abuja. His parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ame, who got married about a year ago, said they didn't see this honor coming with their first baby. Exactly 12 a.m. I was there. A doctor ran to me, grabbed me and lifted me up. I grabbed her the same. I was praying with my sister-in-law. We were thanking God for seeing another, another year we were with excitement all over us. <laughs> so I'm very happy. Representative of the wife of the president, senior special assistant to the president administration, Hajo Sani, congratulated the Ame family and presented an official certificate, cash, and other gift items to the family. Interesting to hear that the baby is the first baby of the parents. So uh, it's really very important for us. And Her Excellency extend her best wishes and prayers to the parents and to all the babies of the 2019. Babies are, are very important for us at the beginning of a new life, at the beginning of a new year. About 13 other babies born on the first day of the new year in the hospital were also presented with New Year hampers by the representative of the wife of the president in Abu Jami Taire Igwen, NTA News. Now, the Yuletide is a period characterized with celebrations. Defense correspondent Ismail Musa, who is in Borno State, the epicenter of the ongoing war against the Boko Haram terrorist group, has messages from the troops in the trenches. It is a festive period, but to these troops starts with the mandate of protecting Nigeria and Nigerians. It is business as usual. The celebration was done generally peacefully. However, we face a kind of resistance 
though we repel the attack from the Boko Haram terrorists successfully. I'm here to fight the insurgency so that Nigeria should celebrate the Esmas peacefully. As we march to 2019, what should Nigerians expect from you in the front line? Nigerians should expect that we should end this fight as soon as possible. Yes, 2018, we put up a good fight. But in 2019, we will ensure that the terrorism of Boko Haram is history. I will remain a professional soldier. I expect Nigerians to support and to pray for us in the fight against insurgency. Before I left the location, troops took time to extend greetings to their loved ones. I would like to wish my family and friends a good Yeletide celebration. I wish my family Happy New Year. My morale is very high. I'm good to go. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai, who has been in the Northeast, charged troops to be proactive and decisive in the ongoing clearance of Boko Haram from Northern Borno. From Medugri Borno State, Ismail Musa enters. Thank you, Ismail Musa. We also wish our troops in the front line Happy New Year. Still staying with New Year celebrations, the joy of internally displaced persons in Kutara village, Nasarawa state, knew no bounds as a non-governmental organization. The Universal Agricultural Empowerment Development Initiative presented them with food items for the new year. Mitera Ikben has the report. More than four years ago, the IDPs here fled from their country homes in Borno, Yobe, and Adamawa states as a result of insurgents' activities to seek refuge in Kutara. That time when we were misplaced, we were even hopeless of getting house where to stay. When we left home immediately in Yola, some of us were 20, 20 in a room. 20 people per a room, a bedroom. Then suddenly the announcement came from the church pastor in Autaba if he said that they will allocate houses for internally displaced persons. That's what made us a 72 families here. Following the visit of this NGO to the camp with food items and other consumables, Ibrahim Musa, a septuagenarian, and other IDPs like him say they cannot remember the last time they had a joyful moment like this. <laughs> I'm very, very happy. That's why I'm dancing. They are looking for something to eat, and we have enough over there. So whatever we have to eat, let's share it and give to them. There's love in sharing. The teenagers, have, some of them have not been to school. There will be nuisance in the society if we don't help them. For about 500 internally displaced persons here at Kutara IDP camp, the new year is already a blessed and happy one with the magnitude of assistance they have received. From Kutara IDP camp, Karu local government area in Nasarawa state, Mitaire Ikben, NTA News. Now, reports just reaching us says wife of the president, Aisha Muhammad Buhari, has called on parents to continue to inculcate moral values in their children as future leaders. Mrs. Buhari stated this in a message at the annual Christmas and New Year celebrations organized for Nigerian children in Abuja. State House correspondent Aliu Kabir reports. It has been the tradition of the wife of the president, Aisha Muhammad Buhari, to host Nigerian children for the annual Christmas and New Year celebrations. This year's event was colorful, which accompanied dance, children's fanfare, and some light games, and it was attended by the Nigerian children, particularly those taking refuge at the internally displaced persons camps located within the outskirts of the federal capital territory. The representative of the wife of the president and the former deputy governor of Plateau State, Pauline Thailand, says the idea is to refresh the memories of the children and to make them feel important and to encourage them to concentrate more on their studies towards becoming better future leaders for making the country a greater nation. This Christmas and New Year party clearly signifies the love she has for Nigerian children and the mother's love she has. Because the first day of the year is very significant. It's significant because you are opening a new chapter of a new year. You are opening a new chapter with love, with hope, with expectation. 
And that's exactly what Dr. Aisha Muhammad Wari is doing today, expressing her love, particularly the majority of the children gathered here today are children from the IDP camps. She wants to put smiles on faces of children that have lost their parents. So this is to say that we, she brings them together every year to come and also feel that uh, they are being loved, that they are children and we are so tired for them to celebrate. And uh, she extends her best wishes and blessings to all Nigerian children, those that are here and those that are not being able to come here. Some of the children could not hide their happiness. Yes, I'm very happy. Okay. And I want to thank the president's wife for organizing this party. May God bless her. I had the chance to hear from other people and make new friends. Um, and I'd like to say thank you to the president's wife for organizing such a celebration. The children were presented with some gifts. Cut the future short program and the Aisha Muhammad Buhari Foundation. From the State House, Ali Kabir, NTA News. You are on to the network service of the NTA. More reports and New Year celebration messages when we return. Together, we started a journey filled with smiles. Together, we touched millions of lives shared laughter and hundreds of surprises we discovered how simple acts of kindness go a long way into building a nation of smiles just for you it's another year and another opportunity to share millions of smiles with our loved ones so give more share more and build a better world. MTN Season of Surprises Season 4 is here. Surprise someone, no matter how little, so we all can spread more kindness. Politics democratically affords a level playing field for everyone who carries the will and courage to lead a people in the right direction. I wish to call on women to go and spread the good news and accomplishment of the present administration. Women inevitably are the right source to pave this path that can bring good governance, structural stability, rapid economic growth and basic human rights to all its citizenry. There is no better time than now to experience their prowess in this era when women all over the world are showing that they have the right tools to build a nation. The Buhari-led administration and APC have aligned with its purpose to involve women with the right vision. The idea is not just for participation, but inclusive participation. We can exert more power than we would have individually in garnering the majority of registered women and youth voters to vote for the Buhari Oshibanjo team from 2019. This is what change is all about. This is the vision of the All Progressives Congress. This is for a new Nigeria. Election 2019 is here. This is a clarion call to all Nigerians by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. On February 16, 2019, presidential and national assembly elections will be conducted nationwide. Similarly, on March 2, 2019, governorship and state assembly elections will take place. INEC is committed to making the 2019 general elections the best we have ever had. Credible persons are being recruited and trained to handle polling units and collection centers at all levels. Our card readers have been upgraded and will be deployed to all polling units to prevent voter impersonation. We will involve technology in the conduct of elections to prevent fraud. Your votes will count. Join hands with the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Let's make Nigeria proud. This message is from the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. INEC, making your votes count, consolidating our democracy. They swore an oath to serve our fatherland and defend the people. They traded their freedom, comfortable homes, and mortgaged their lives on the battleground for our unity and peaceful living. These are the great 
fearless, loyal and committed Nigerian armed forces who risked their lives courageously to safeguard our borders. But in the line of duty, many never returned. Nigerians, arise, let's celebrate our fallen heroes. Put on the remembrance emblem with pride to support the incapacitated and families of our fallen heroes. The celebration goes to the matters of the result of our students to make the world Nigeria. President Muhammad Buhari enjoins all ministries, parastatals, religious and corporate bodies to donate generously to the Emblem Appeal Lounge. Send your donations to these accounts. Account name, Emblem Appeal Lounge. Account number, 393-200-7526. Ecobank Nigeria, PLC. The candidates... A presidential town hall co-production between Daria Media and NTA, supported by the MacArthur Foundation. Four presidential town halls, four political parties and their presidential and vice presidential candidates. Four Wednesdays in January 2019, 9th, 16th, 23rd and 30th January, from 7 to 9 p.m. Town hall venue, Sheraton Hotel Abuja. Moderator, Kadria Ahmed. The candidates will be broadcast live on NTA and other partner TV and radio stations, as well as streamed online on NTA and DTV.media. If you are over 18 and want to be part of the audience, apply online at daria.media or use the hashtag NGTheCandidates or participate online using the hashtag NGTheCandidates. It is that time of the year when we appreciate all those that mean so much to us. All sponsors, our clients, government at all levels, corporate bodies, advertisers, religious bodies, civil society groups, political parties, business, and above all, you, our esteemed viewers. Together we made 2018 great. Together we shall make 2019 even greater and that is why we say thank you merry christmas and a prosperous new year thanks for staying with nta network news and now politics commentators have described 2018 as an interesting year on the nigerian political scene with the 2019 general elections only a few weeks away Timothy Yusuf in this special report refreshes our minds on the defining moments in the year past. 2018 was a very interesting year as far as Nigeria's political uh, um, experience. You have the not too young Turambi that was signed. 2018, no doubt, is the year that came with a series of twists and turns as new political parties emerged. Political alignments and realignments became some of the prominent features that shaped the nation's political space as it prepares for the 2019 general elections. Former President Olushe Gunobasanjo was among those that opened the floodgates of political drama last year with an open letter to President Muhammadu Buhari it dovetailed into the launch of the Coalition for Nigeria Movement, a group he described as a coalition of all well-meaning Nigerians that will engage in democratic practices. And I believe that even if there should be anybody that should say that, it shouldn't be the former president. Despite calls by the former president and several opposition voices, urging President Muhammadu Buhari to go into retirement after his first term, he declared for a second term at the National Executive Committee meeting of the All Progressives Congress, APC, on April 9th, saying his decision was a response to the clamor by Nigerians to recontest. The president went on to win his party primary election. Hope is rekindled in our hearts that we will give our country for our first leadership. Moving to the major opposition political party, PDP, 12 aspirants vied for the presidential ticket in October. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar eventually won. It is a collective responsibility. 
2018 being a pre-election year, many political moves were interpreted as an indication of what might happen in 2019. One of such moves was the mass defection from the governing APC to the PDP and a few other parties in July during plenary at the National Assembly. President of the Senate, Dr. Bukola Saraki, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogara, and three state governors, Samuel Lutom of Benue, Abdul Fattah Ahmed of Kwara, and Aminu Waziri Tambual of Sokoto States also joined the main opposition party. And all the same, the executive try in their wisdom to manage them. The defections have not been one-sided as a few PDP members, most notably the PDP's own Senate Minority Leader, Godswill Akpabio, resigned his position to join the APC. I would like to be a conspirator who brings about uncommon transformation of Nigeria. While the PDP basked in the euphoria of defection victories, APC made up for the losses by winning crucial state governorship elections in Oshun and Ikiti states. Congratulations. In June 2018, former Edo State Governor Adam Soshomole was elected the new national chairman of the APC. President Muhammadu Buhari's non assent to the Electoral Act Amendment Bill 2018 was another issue that generated mixed reactions. That bill will have plunged this country, especially our hard and democratic process, into chaos. As the 2019 general elections draw near, President Buhari joined other presidential candidates to sign a peace pact, committing themselves to non-violent election. And on a sad note, former President Shehu Shagari died at the tail end of 2018 at the age of 93. The March expected 2019 has finally arrived. No doubt the political space will be busier, but the underlining message stakeholders say remains that of peace during the exercise. In Abuja, Timothy Yusuf, NT News. And the All Progressives Congress has reiterated its commitment to win 2019 general elections and carry on with the good work by the present administration since its inception in 2015. National Publicity Secretary of the Party, Larry Issa Onilo, at a press briefing in Abuja said, Nigerians who are desirous of good governance are steadfast in their resolve to ensure continuity of the Buhari administration. Political correspondent Salu Abdullahi reports. The year 2019 is significant to Nigerians who are expected to go to the polls come February and March to elect the next set of political leaders that will pilot the affairs of the nation for another term of four years. The Governing All Progressives Congress says it is welcoming the new Gregorian calendar year 2019 with high hope of electoral victory as evident in the caliber of the party's candidates for all elective positions and the achievements of the APC-led government. As the ruling party on a rescue mission, we call on all well-meaning people of this country to keep the faith with this administration. The graphs are on the positive upward swing. President Buhari is laying a solid foundation for a prosperous future. We must endure and be steadfast. We have already turned the corner, leaving behind the years of the locust under the PDP. We are headed towards a future that guarantees stability. The party's spokesperson says what is dear to APC moving to the next level is issue-based campaign in line with the achievements recorded in the areas of infrastructure, security, fight against corruption, and revamping the nation's economy. In Abuja, Salihu Abdullahi, NCA News. Now, to effectively manage the 2019 elections, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has organized a three-day workshop in Ebo State. Uche Idam reports that the workshop intends to enhance capacity of monitoring and support center implementers. To further improve on the nation's electioneering process and to make the 2019 elections results-oriented, an integrated support system for monitoring the implementation of the 2019 election project plan, otherwise known as the Election Monitoring and Support Center, EMSC, has been established. 
flagging of the workshop organized for implementers in Ebony State. The resident electoral commissioner, Professor Goswin Obiama, said their understanding of the electoral process framework is key to the credibility and success of 2019 general elections. The Election Monitoring and Support Center is a new initiative of INEC to connect three components of the election process together to work together harmoniously for effective election. The training which highlighted the EMSC operational timeline and activities, reporting and validation process, as well as electoral risk management is for the resident electoral commissioner, administrative secretary, heads of departments, electoral officers and their assistants, among other stakeholders. In Abakliki, Uchechkuchi Bezidam, NTA News. Away from politics, property worth millions of naira were in the early hours of Monday, 31st December 2018, gutted by fire when two fuel stations, residential buildings, and several shops in Trans Ekulu Enugu metropolis went up in flames. Ngozi Silva Tenikyo quotes eyewitnesses as saying that the inferno emanated from a tanker discharging cooking gas in one of the fuel stations. According to eyewitnesses' account, the inferno started at about 8 o'clock in the morning when the tanker discharging cooking gas leaked into the air and sparked fire. According to another account, the tanker shifted from position as there was no wedge at the tire to hold it. The shift, they said, led to leakage of the gas into the air, igniting fire from a nearby shop. We we'll discovered that it is an act of carelessness that this tanker behind me was discharging cooking gas without the driver or the conductor putting wage. All of a sudden, the vehicle rolled, then pulling the, the discharging hose from the, the maybe five metric tons. The raging of the inferno caused commotion as people ran for safety when the fire escalated to surrounding areas. Property destroyed include the tanker where the fire was said to have emanated from, an electricity transformer, a commercial bus, and three tricycles. Residential buildings and several shops were also touched. The Enugu State Chief Fire Officer Okudili Oha relates the effort of the state firefighters to quell the fire. We dispatched them uh, five vehicles, five firefighters, and one water tanker, making it six. And uh, by the special grace of God, we were able to quench the fire. We stopped it from spreading. In Enugu, Ngozi Silva, Technical, NTA News. Still on safety, it is a yearly experience, but when you still fall victim, I mean the vagaries of the Hamatan season, Mayor Ogidi in this report takes us through some of the unexpected and how to combat them. December and January are usually months of celebration. Yes, the Christmas and New Year. That is the sunny side of the moment. But moving to the other side of the divide, one is reminded of the sad reality of Amatan season as humanity confronts losses. Every inanimate object goes dry and becomes highly inflammable as pains and agony take the place of joy in many families. Even the dead, in most cases, are not spared. Somebody building a shop may say, okay, they need a light. Draw a light, maybe with uh, a cable, you know, with naked points and drop and put a stone, connecting the, you know, without the recourse to real electrical regulation. So all this contributed to fires. Just a few days ago, hospital, filling station, and markets in some cities we are consumed by the flaming fire ushered in by Amatan. There's any fire incident, 30 minutes is enough to raise down almost the whole market. It has always been complaints from victims and their sympathizers on the inefficiency of fire service in responding to emergency situations. But the Controller General of the Federal Fire Service, Joseph Gariba Anebi, seems not comfortable with this accusation that even if you are coming with your fire engine, you cannot assess the scene of, of the fire because of a kind of uh, obstructions created. For the controller of Federal Fire Service, it is no longer a time for blame game, but one has to be conscious of the season 
and go the extra mile in taking precautionary measures such as avoid bush burning, avoid the use of candle, proper use of electrical appliances, avoid spraying of inflammable propellants, avoid reckless driving, avoid indiscriminate disposal of cigarette filters, matches and other inflammable objects should be kept away from the reach of children, careful use of firecrackers and more significantly fire extinguishers must be available at homes, offices and vehicles at this time. Mayor Ogidi, Antinous. President Muhammad Buhari has felicitated with the any one of Abba Eze Isaac Ajoni Ikone on his 90th birthday. In a statement signed by the Special Advisor Media and Publicity Femi Adeshino, President Buhari remains grateful to Eze Ikone for his support in 2015 while joining the Abia Traditional Council in celebrating the purpose-driven and exemplary leadership the Eze has brought to the throne. President Buhari congratulates the people and government of Abia State, family members and friends of the Royal Father on this auspicious day, praying for longer life and good health for the non -agenarian. Michael is in our Lagos studio. We now take us through the New Year celebrations in Lagos. Hello, Michael. Happy New Year. Nigerians have been reminded of the need to renew their faith in God as the pathway to receiving abundant blessings and grace inherent in the New Year. Clarice and Lagos shared these messages at church services to commemorate the New Year. The atmosphere at most churches visited was charged with songs and praise, expressing the gratitude of the congregation for witnessing the new year. The prelates of the Methodist Church Nigeria, His Eminence Samo Uche, enjoined Nigerians to continue to show love to one another and live in peace in the interest of national growth. We will encourage a united Nigeria, a vibrant Nigeria, a dynamic Nigeria, a progressive Nigeria. Archbishop John Osauni of the Vineyard Christian Ministries reminded Nigerians on the need for religious tolerance as both Christians and Muslims have their roots from God. Trust God, God will do great things. Now that which is not enough, yes, there is going to be more than enough in this new year. At the Holy Christ Cathedral, the Catholic Archbishop of Lagos, Most Reverend Alfred Adewale Martins, who used the service to mark World Day of Peace, admonished the congregation to exhibit virtues that will promote peace, especially as the general elections draw nearer. The church encourages that the candidates should work for common good and they should uh, show that they can really, truly cater for the welfare of people. It's all about a message of peace, of love, and of ensuring that we go about our electioneering in a peaceful and orderly manner. We must allow uh, a level playing field for everybody to express him or herself, for every party, for every candidate to be able to speak their mind so that the people can make a choice. The services offered the platform for Christians to rededicate their faith and make resolution on the new year. For Nigeria to accelerate its quest for national development, people with transparent and patriotic disposition like the late former president of the country, Alaji Sheo Shagari, are needed in governance. Some prominent Nigerians shared this view in Lagos while paying tribute to the late executive president of the country, Today's Psyche reports. Although the former president died at the ripe age of 93, his immense contribution to nationhood and unity of the country continues to attract more reactions. Southwest chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, Chief Olabode George, described the late Alaji Sheo Shagari as a man who placed service to humanity at a high premium above personal gains. He will remain a reference point for me in politics, how to play politics, how to relate to one another. There was no tribalism seen either in his pronouncement or in his discussion with you or in his attitude. A human being created by God is to be respected. We need many more people of that disposition to be in politics. Uh, Shiguri was a teacher 
and then uh, he worked um, for some communities and then became uh, president. I think that we must get to the point where if you haven't served your community, you shouldn't be permitted to sit in a position of trust over the assets of other people. Very democratic. You see, they don't take election as a winner takes all. They always share positions with other parties. I remember when Alaji Shegari won the presidency, he invited Chief of Af Describe the late Alaji Sheo Shagari as a man who placed service to humanity at a high premium above personal gains. He will remain a reference point for me in politics. How to play politics, how to relate to one another. There was no tribalism seen either in his pronouncement or in his discussion with you or in his attitude. A human being created by God is to be respected. We need many more people of that disposition to be in politics. Uh, Shiguri was a teacher and then uh, he worked um, for some communities and then became uh, president. I think that we must get to the point where if you haven't served your community, you shouldn't be permitted to sit in a position of trust over the assets of other people. Very democratic. You see, they don't take election as a winner takes all. They always share positions with other parties. I remember when Alaji Sheo Shagari won the presidency, he invited Chief Obafemi Awolowo, his closest rival, to come on board and serve the nation. Others said the late president taught Nigerians how to practice politics without bitterness by exemplifying high level of tolerance. In Lagos, Tunde Saiki, NTA News. You are still watching NTA Network News. More reports are ahead after this timeout. Please stay with us. <laughs> This festive season, there's no place like home. Get a GoTV Dakota and GoTenna and one month of GoTV Max subscription for only 6,900 Naira. GoTV. Live it. Amina, on the new segment. Hello, Amina. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And about the increment, that's yeah. probably good news for Nigeria. More money for the country. More money, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. It is 2019, a brand new year, and tradition seems to dictate that this time is resolution time. Already, many made their resolutions, but economic and financial experts are reminding all of the need to include savings and planning as part of it, not only as a wish, but also on how to achieve it. Yourself, uh, what are the things you plan to achieve? Setting goals are vitally important because goals are what will determine, um, you know, the steps that you're going to take to meet meet up your objectives. Okay, so long-term goals, medium-term goals, short-term goals. Nigeria's crude oil daily production recorded an upward swing of about 2.09 million barrels in 2018, translating to a 9% increment. Now, this is compared with the 2017 average daily production of 1.86 million barrels, pitched against the low-level daily crude oil production in 2016. And what obtains now? The, national, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NNPC Group Managing Director, Dr. Mekan Tibaru says the nation had maintained a line of consistent year-on-year -year improvement for the crude oil increments and other milestone recorded by the NNPC in the outgoing 2018. Dr. Mekan Tibaru made the submission in a comprehensive end-of-year message to the staff of the corporation. 
Meanwhile, the Nigerian Stock Exchange Sustainability Disclosure Guidelines approved by the Securities and Exchange Commission said comes into effect from the first day of January 2019. The Nigerian Stock Exchange says it recognizes that the promotion of environmental, social and governance principles can facilitate more meaningful engagement between investors and listed companies on ESG's risk and opportunities. Now, this in turn is expected to deepen the role played by market operators and regulators in leading sustainability policies and regulations. The guidelines primarily provide value suggestions for sustainability in the Nigerian context. It also articulates step-by-step -step approach to integrating sustainability into organizations, indicators that experts say should be considered when providing annual disclosure to the exchange and timelines for such disclosures. Now, despite the rally on the last trading day of the Nigerian Stock Exchange on Monday, the 31st of December 2018, which gained 1.27%, the market could not be saved from abysmal negative full-year results. In the end, the market recorded minus 17.8% loss for the year 2018. The Nigerian Stock Exchange All Share Index notched a 9% gain in first quarter. Amid significant foreign interest, however, investors' uncertainty emerged in subsequent quarters, with the ASI dipping 8% and 14%. Also, the global phenomenon affected the Nigerian stock market by heightened trade tensions between the US and China volatile commodity prices, and the monetary tightening in the United States. NSC O-Share Index closed at 31,430.50 points on Monday, December 31st, 2018, from 38.243.9 points, which it closed December 29, 2017. Similarly, investors lost 1.9 trillion naira of their investment value represented by market capitalization, which stood at 11.720 trillion naira at the close of trading on December 31st, 2018. Now, that's a wrap on business news. Agatha is standing by in our Benin Network Center for more reports. Agatha, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Amina and Nigerians. A happy New Year from the heartbeat of the nation. Uh, calls for peaceful and credible elections dominated New Year messages with the polls just a few weeks away. Ede Agu reports that some clergy in Benin and Governor Gordon Obaseki say the successful outcome of the elections is not negotiable. The of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria and the Archbishop of Benin Metropolitan See, Most Reverend Obiora Akubezi, who was at the medium security prison in Oko Benin, fellowship with the inmates, described election as an opportunity to return the country to the right attitude. Service that will include providing the people yourself with basic social amenities, paying their salaries as a point view, encouraging respect for the rule of law. People are saying there will be fire and brimstone. Nothing evil will happen. Nigerians should not lose their sleep. Let us continue to play our leadership role in the world by teaching law forgiveness. Governor Obaseki, who attended the New Year service at St. John's Cathedral, Sabongida Ura, urged Nigerians to work towards the success of the forthcoming election. In an election year, uh, like this year, the message should be clear. Let us sustain the efforts we've made to date so that we can get to our goals much closer, I mean, quicker than we, we, we imagined. Prayers for a successful election were prominent in all the churches visited. In Benin, Ede Agu, NTA News. 
Now, the age-long Nigerian practice of the Navy's ceremonial sunset has been restored and reenacted for benefit of the servicemen and women at the Central Naval Command NNS Wari. This is to wrap up activities for 2018, where several projects were inaugurated by the Flag Officer Commanding Central Naval Command, Rear Admiral Suleiman Garba. If you're Mori, has the report. The Nigerian Navy sunset ceremony dates back to 1932. It is one of the traditions of the Nigerian Navy to end all naval activities in the year. It featured the sun beating of the retreat, the tattoo and lowering of the nation's flag. Away from the fact that the event avails officers the opportunity to bond with colleagues and spouses. It gives the command an opportunity to outline all successes achieved in the last one year and future plans. The Central Naval Command has continued to discharge this responsibility within the limits of available resources. I am therefore pleased to inform us that within this space of time, the command has ensured the improved use of marine maritime resources as well as our marine maritime domain awareness facilities. Before the ceremonial sunset, the flag officer commanding Central Naval Command inaugurated some projects in the Nigerian Navy ship worry. The Central Naval Command of the Nigerian Navy has its headquarters in Yedogwa, Bayosa State. Ivie Omoyi, NTA News. And that ends our package. From us here again, a happy new year. The network news returns right after this break. Do stay on. I am Barista Bola Kale Yusu, the ballet of Bodhisattva. I like to use this opportunity to thank the federal government, especially apart from all other novel programs that has reached the grassroots people. I want to thank them for the National Household uh, Cash Transfer Scheme. For the first time, probably in the political history of Nigeria, it has never happened that people who are in Hamlet, I'm talking about Manda, Salanga, Lasaki, Ajegunle, Ajia, Elemere, all these are inner villages that ordinarily government policy don't ever, ever get to them, not to talk of a direct intervention in their financial well-being. I commend this project and I wish that it goes on because it is touching the people that actually need government attention. 2019 elections are coming. Do not let yourselves be used by politicians. Do not allow your emotions go haywire. Do not be a tool to cause mayhem. No election matter is worth the destruction of lives and properties. Be wise. Don't be a violent Nigerian youth. Don't get involved in any act of violence. Your future is at stake. Shun violence during elections. This message is from the National Orientation Agency. Welcome back to Abuja. This is NTA Network News. And now sports updates. Experts call for improved.